At exactly 12 p.m. today, planes carrying four wounded soldiers landed at the Wilson Airport. The four were airlifted to Nairobi for specialized treatment for injuries they sustained at the Friday attack on their camp by members of the Ragdag militia Al-Shabaab. On hand to receive them, Defense Cabinet Secretary Rachel Omamo and the Chief of Defense Forces Samson Modede. The faces of the injured officers are a depiction of a people who saw it all. The events of the attack in which Al-Shabaab are said to have used explosives to access the KDF camp in El Adi apparently taking their toll. Some of the injured colleagues are still receiving treatment at the Wajir Memorial Hospital. And when Umamo and Mother they spoke, their message was clear that Kenya was not about to fold up on the mission to flash out Al-Shabaab from neighboring Somalia. The Kenya Defense Forces will continue in concert with our allies to face tackle and fight the enemies of peace and freedom in our region. In this, we will not relent. I reiterate the Commander-in-Chief's assurance that the blood of our fallen heroes was not shed in vain. We will fight them deep in their hideouts, we will smoke them out of their caves, and we will follow them to the end in honor of every drop of blood of our fellow Kenyans. But even as they projected a brave persona, questions on how many soldiers Kenya lost to the attack still abound. According to Umamo and Mothethe, KDF was still on a search, rescue and recovery mission, and information on the casualties was not verifiable. But families of those injured and those who lost their lives are being contacted directly by the Department of Defense, DOD, as it offers them support and counseling. Support facilities for family members relatives and friends of our fallen heroes have been established at the Kenya Defense Forces Barracks at Eldoret, Gilgil, and Forces Memorial Hospital in Nairobi. Information and counseling services are being provided to them through this mechanism. We would ask that you continue to hold up our soldiers and their families in prayer and to respect their privacy during this time of sorrow and uncertainty. Our priority now is to make sure that we conduct this search, rescue and recovery for the ones who are not in the camp but are elsewhere. We are trying to search for them, rescue them and recover them. Omamo and Mothethe held the outpouring support by Kenyans from the day of the attack as true patriotism. We thank you for your spontaneous support and encouragement, for your resolve, for your commitment to our soldiers, for your recognition and appreciation of their courage, their efforts and sacrifices in the defense of our nation, our freedoms, our constitution, our values, and our way of life. Special gratitude goes to our friends, our partners, and all Kenyans and the media for standing with the KDF. I salute you. And calls for the withdrawal of the forces from Somalia after the attack have faced stiff opposition from the church and political leaders. The Presbyterian Church of East Africa has voiced its opposition for the calls, stemming them premature, while Senate Majority Whip Beatrice Elachi dismissed the calls as political theatrics. And we call that the government should not withdraw the armed, or rather our soldiers who are in Somalia, until Somalia realizes peace. Because peace in Somalia is very important for our own stability. But then, at the same time, we want to express our condolence, we are told it to those soldiers who are left there, but also to the families of those who have left us, as they uh, uh, do that which the Lord has called them to do in the service. We must ensure every person who has any sympathy of Al-Shabaab Al-Qaeda, ISIS, because they're all here, we must deal with them. Therefore, when we see the security people also dealing with the few who are there, let us not raise and start shouting, why are you killing? 
ask yourself, look at your soldiers now today. Look at the students. Look at those who survived. What do they feel up to today? We must, as a country, always remember we have victims. This is outpouring messages for the Kenya Defense Forces continued with political leaders condoling their families and at the same time hailing them as heroes whose efforts have made Kenya a better place to live in. Tuambie wanajeshi wetu, wara wako Somalia, tunawapenda sana, tunapenda familia zao sana, na tunawambia they are more than conquerors. John Jacob, Curia, Channel One Weekend.